Hello everyone, my name is Jonathan Morin, I'm the Creative Director on Watch Dogs 2. I'm really excited to be able to answer the questions from the community of EV Games. Now let's start with the first question from Jack. Is Watch Dogs 2 an all new story? Do I need to play the first game in order to understand the sequel? The answer to that is no, you don't need to play the first game in order to understand it. Nevertheless, it's still a continuum from the universe of Watch Dogs, so you're gonna have Link with characters from the first game, and also certain past events, but nothing that will make you get lost into the story if you didn't play the first opus. Now the second question is from James. Why was San Francisco chosen as the setting of Watch Dogs 2? Well, we wanted to explore a different side of, of America this time around. Going for California and the vibe that you can find them was something that was exciting to us. But nevertheless, when we started to dig into the details of what it could be and where it could be in the California area, we ended up realizing that Silicon Valley and the Bay Area was quite rich in terms of technology and digging into what really impact us in our day-to-day -day lives regarding technology in our society. I mean, after all, the birthplace of where we started to craft this idea that the new economy of information could be used and that the impact of big data would change the way we live our lives. It's pretty much happened there. So it got us excited. And when we started to dig into it, it became quite obvious that there was a lot to offer there. And it's not just one city, it's four. Like the Bay Area is not only San Francisco, but it's also Oakland. It's also like the Silicon Valley itself. And it's also uh, the Marine County. So that's quite a lot to explore. Next question from Jono. What was the inspiration behind the main character, Marcus Holloway? Well, the first part of the answer is definitely the acting culture and all the geekness and love that we all have in ourselves while playing video games that surrounds it. Uh, if you look at the look of him, if you look at the comic book stuff you, you find in, in, in his clothing, and you realize that he's a fan of comic books. He's a fan of these little eight bytes, like artworks you can find in the memes of the internet. So it's really rooted into the culture of acting itself. The second part is the natural evolution of the Bay Area. Looking at the desire to make something different, listening to the people working in companies of Silicon Valley, the mantras of questioning what's uh, preconceived as how the society should work. And also like inviting people to think outside the box. These two elements are what forged Marcus Holloway in the end. And then by crafting him in the middle of a group helped us escalate like everything else to the other characters around them to create interesting variations out there. Next question is from Rob. What is the favorite new feature in Watch Dogs 2? I have a lot of features in Watch Dogs 2 I like. Uh, one of the features I like the most is hacking cars around you. It's one of the things of the first game that was great was pointing at stuff and hacking them. But we, we were lacking of that element that is everywhere in the city. And cars are everywhere. And you can point at them, remote control them, crash them into stuff, go on top of one and do car surfing as you're dancing just because you want to do it. All of these possibilities and what you can combine them with the rest of the game makes it for me the most exciting acts we have did for the second game because we wanted to do something analog and I think there's nothing more analog than this one. Another question by Aaron. Any chance we could see Watch Dogs set in Australia in the future? Now, Australia is a great place. Never been there. I love. I would love to go there, actually. Uh, and Sydney is quite a city. I heard they have a pretty cool bridge where you can actually control the lines dynamically and play with the systems. There's quite a few smart city features going on in there. Maybe, who knows? We're looking at cities all the time. We're thinking about the possibilities all the time. But for now, our brain is on the Bay Area and hopefully you're gonna enjoy the game when it comes out in November 15. Thanks a lot for listening. See ya.